It was an unordinarily cold day in Hollywood, California, and El Nino even had Venice Beach bums wearing their underrules. By the way, friends call me Casey, but the name's Justin. Just in case. I'm an internet private eye for Third Eye Detective Agency. I hadn't been in my office let alone five minutes and suddenly there was a knock at the door. Come in. There she was, an angel in the flesh. She had a look at the stress on her face. I consider myself a pretty well-rounded, open-minded, rational guy. But the case she wanted me to take was pretty irrational. Something about her father creating a virtual time device which allows you to physically go into cyberspace. I felt intrigued. I thought to myself, Justin, maybe you should just take this case. My electronic cyber suit, virtual reality glasses, internet, microchip, ID for all access to the world wide web, telecommunications data bank, searching for multiple files, no way to uplink. I seen a blink, oh yes, someone's calling SOS, maps, geographical locations, somewhere in the Arab nation. I said, I saw my lake and request for missing the XD internet. I show my computer passport. I'm glad it I found myself at the slummy bar near the ghettos of Cairo. The device that I was looking for, Project Dark Pharaoh. News breaking a day late, the rest of us up yesterday. Hold on, the rest of time, burner, just in case it's all just right. in case is the man, the secret agent man. He will be there on the double if there's trouble. He's your man. Meanwhile, back in cyberspace, I got an email. It was the same day. She never told me her name. She said she wanted to meet me outside the main frame because she was seeing things. She thought that she was being followed. Video phone taps and all sorts of crap. So I agreed to that. A meeting, slash dinner, slash date. I'll be there. She said to meet her at 8. And so I met the dame later on that evening over at the Hamburger Hamlet across the street from Chinese Man's Theater over on Hollywood Boulevard. Good evening. We got our grub on and later on that night we hit the shitty lights. We ended up at the Chronic Cafe over on Melrose. Had a few drinks, pop, pop, fizz, fizz. That's when she slipped me the mickey. I woke up the next morning between two satin sheets, butt booty naked, slobbing on a pillow. There was a note on the nightstand between an open condom package and an ashtray with half a doobie in it. Well, well, what do we have here? What's this? It was an access key card to her father's laboratory. Said that he gave it to her before his disappearance. And now the suspense is really building. What is this? By the time I got to the laboratory, it was already a wreck. So I download my access code back to the internet to find the first suspect, the only suspect. Well, what do you suspect? It was someone I wouldn't suspect. Dr. Mindbender never had any children. Met him off to the cyber suit. I'm about to dive in to find the name with no name and she was exiting the mainframe. Trying to catch a private jet plane to Spain. I was jumping over luggage like OJ from back in the day. To the lady with the baby suddenly blocked my way. Uh, excuse me, but can you tell me, have you seen this lady? Have you seen her? She's right here, get on the box. It was a greyhound, I ran it down and jacked the motorcycle. When I'm after you, I'm after you, I ain't gonna stop until I catch you. Stunts like Evil Knievel, Papa Willie's in junk. She dived, rolled out the greyhound bus, running in her pumps to the Fox Hill Mall. I crashed the bike into the wall, flipped like Jackie Chan, like that was part of my plan. She ran into the movie theater stand. No one has seen her at the restroom or the popcorn stand. Just in case, always catches his man. No dame. And 
this private dick is still on the case.